you know, there are good Let's Players, and then there are bad Let's Players. And here at LPers in Review, we're gonna give you our opinion on the hot LPers out there today. Today we're gonna be reviewing a Let's Player under the name of the Autistic Vampire, also known as DICE. Judging by Autistic Vampire's YouTube channel, we can conclude that he started his Let's Play career 8 months ago when he started his first Let's Play, and he played the game Chrono Trigger. And it sucked! Hey, this is Dice. Welcome back to Chrono Trigger. Let's play Chrono Trigger. Right. I mean, the video and the audio quality is quite good, the but the content of the commentary is purely horrific. It's uninteresting, it's uninformative, and it's not even trying to be at least mildly comedic. It's all backed by his monotone voice and drenched with his arrogant personality. That's Let's great. take a look. Alright. So, where we left off... Marl disappeared. Yeah, I could... Oh, this... Oh, is this a power tab? Oh, wait. A hairpin? <laughs> Uh, let's go to his whole. Cr oh. That doesn't seem. Oh! No, I myself would not consider myself to be a good Let's Player, but I surely can assure you that I'm at least a bit better than this, along with 90% of other Let's Players. But could this get any worse? Of course it can. He actually started a new Let's Play where he played Sonic Adventure 2, and is just exciting as ever! Even the audio quality has improved! It's a good thing you left these menus in, Dice. I know. As you can see, there are two stories, and I really like the uh, hero story best. I prefer the dark story. You would. So, Dice, did you remember to turn your Steam messages off during this recording? Speaking of Sonic, this is what he said about my Sonic Let's Play when he found it and watched it. And I paraphrase, Pussy Brere Supreme Eternal Era Teme? And it left me heartbroken because deep down I knew that my Let's Play was much better than this piece of shit. Probably the main butthurt thing about it is there's some slow parts, and there's like no new badniks. I mean, there's like one extra badnik. I mean, come on, Sega, be creative. This is supposed to be your. Mothership flagship game. You can add bad mix to the new zone. But whatever. Do you see what I mean? I at least have some minor voice fluctuations. I don't speak at the rate of one word per second and actually talk more about the game and around the game and more in depth than just what's going on on the screen saying, oh, I am. Um, oh, no, they're defeating me because I'm a bit lazy. Um, Skateboarding, um... And then there's the guy who talks like this. So yeah, now you see my criticism of his Let's Play ability. Therefore, I'm gonna rate this guy 3 rhombuses. Which is pretty bad compared to all the other bad Let's Players out there. But of course, there's still the ability to improve. Well, thanks for watching this episode of LP Years in Review. In the next episode, we'll be covering a better Let's Player, but for meantime, don't forget to push some buttons under the video such as the like and the subscribe button, and don't forget to leave a comment for the next episode's fan mail section. Thanks for watching.